thick face, please give me three million dollars. Like, like if I was his partner or his brother, like I would say, if, if me as a human was like in cared, and we, if he was the brother, if, if dad you cared about that, me, I'm dick face. Right. Correct. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We are back in action. My laptop was held in customs in Vietnam and then FedEx wouldn't let it go and then it ended up in America held in customs. I had left it at the airport, holy cow. What a straight disaster. Two weeks down, we're back on the vlog. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Tom, come on, you missed, you missed it, you missed it. What's going on kids? Hello. How we doing? Hi. First of all, you always want to retake. Hey! <laughs> oh. What? We oh, you meant you're here. here. What's up? You made it back from Vietnam. Yep. Dave was over there two weeks. Two weeks! Well, China and Vietnam, I was only one. You're still filming. <laughs> I wasn't filming. For two <laughs> weeks I've been off. We're back in black now. I get you for five minutes. Yeah. Oh. Listen to these shoes on this floor. Mine are doing the same thing. This is terrible. I agree that that's You won this you won the, the Sacker Award? I did. Look at I you. Won. Was it a great speech? Was it rousing? Yes. Um Tammy was um FaceTime. So that's awesome. we have a picture of her on the And what was the value, <clears throat> the love sack value that you were so representative of? It's not on there yet. Yeah, I didn't put it on there yet. I think so it's willing to, to sweep that floors. In. Willing to sweep floors, this one. <laughs> one of our three Love Sack core values. She doesn't literally have a broom, but always willing to do anything. What's up, D? Yeah, man, Gary Vaynerchuk tonight. You got anything to say to him? Oh, man. Um, I, I, how does he swear? Oh, 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 <laughs> Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Malag, our, our PR social media guru. The man. Does he, I, I want to ask him, does he have any advice for me? I know, right? All right, I'll ask him. I'll ask him via the vlog. Just for you. Thanks, man. I missed you earlier. All right, what do you got for us today? So if you work hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. Ooh, Which I love that. like a general life quote today. I love it. You know, I was literally thinking this yesterday. I'm talking to my Lyft driver, and he's telling, you know, like they, I always ask him, like, how's Lyft treating you? And sometimes, especially the Uber drivers are like, people are jerks. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, nice. let's Say just be everyone, generally smile. nice to each other. Easy. Right? So let's just be cool. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you. See ya. Off to Manhattan again, three days in a row. Still on the money trail. We're raising money for Love Sack to grow really big. So taking finance meetings and whatnot, speaking at the Houlihan conference next week. Wait, is it next week? Two weeks. Two weeks. April 20th. And Mark came by to say hello. He's out of Dallas. He's a furniture guy. He's, he's an investment guy. He knows the space. Turns out he's a Love Sack customer. I am indeed. How cool is that? Found us in Texas. So wait, tell me, it was Austin? So friend who lives in Austin had the product bought at the Austin store. My wife, family, and I went to see it. We loved it. Found the store in Dallas and uh, bought eight sectionals actually for our upstairs media room. So that's amazing. Thank you, by the way. So, so uh, just met this guy, by the way. Really cool. But what is the what is the number one reason you like? Yeah, you can configure. We've probably changed it up half dozen different times for different reasons. Super Bowl party, whether the kids have a sleepover. Um, we've cleared it out so my daughter can have a dance party in the room. It's uh, see, it's no one awesome. believes me. Everyone, everyone sees the video of the couch. You know, they're like, but does anyone actually do that? I tell them, I meet people all the time who, who do, you know. To be honest with you, I don't change mine. I take off the end so we can do the dance I've got I've got two 13-year-old boys, one of their primary jobs, to take that room apart and put it back together. They do it all the time. <laughs> like giant Legos. Really cool. Thanks, man. Right, just leaving Mistral Private Equity, our number one investor at Lovestack. We're working on this uh, financing deal. Had an opportunity to meet with 
a guy who uh, invests money for family offices. So like when um, an entrepreneur makes a ton of money by building a company and then selling it usually, uh, or just running it forever, uh, people that have many, many millions of dollars, usually hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe billions, uh, they hire people like this guy to uh, invest it for them or invest parts of it for them. And this particular guy uh, invests money for three or four different family offices. He's interested in this uh, financing we're doing at Lovesack. Uh, we continue to meet with uh, different bankers and advisors uh, trying to figure out the best way to navigate the waters of this potential Reggae Plus uh, IPO that we're in the test the waters phase of um, as we try and figure it out. It's brand new. It's kind of a new territory in general in the financing world. It's a beautiful day in New York. Right now I'm navigating my way to uh, Core on 55th and uh, roughly Park Avenue. Uh, Core Club, I'm meeting with a guy from Key Bank who knows the markets well and is giving me some advice. It's messy, it's a messy process, it's totally inefficient. I really should be at Lovesack HQ right now working on a new product like we were doing this morning. And instead I gotta run around New York City and you know figure this stuff out. But, you know, it, it's part of the job, and it's a new part of the job, and uh, you know, I am enjoying. I'm learning, and I love that because I've been doing Love Sack for a very long time. <laughs> Nothing like having good weather in New York City. Oh my gosh, what a day! We'll see, but I'm pretty certain that even if I somehow became a billionaire, I just don't know that I can do supercars like that. It's like a house for most people, you know? Awesome. That'll be fun. I love bouncy houses. All right, this guy. You want to know what a Wall Street analyst looks like? Hi. That's what they look like. Super smart dude. What do you do in that show? I look at companies. Look at think companies. about how much they're worth. Love that. All day long. He left the banking side to go do this, right? It means he probably left a little money on the table in his life. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. But I love what I do. He loves what he does, which, by the way, he, he smiles a lot more than most bankers do, so there you go. But look at this cool place. The core club. Anyway, weird places in Manhattan. I've never been here, but lots of cool places to have a meeting in Manhattan. Yes. I don't have anywhere cool. I like stand on the street and talk on my phone. It's terrible. <laughs> so midday, I texted HQ to uh, potentially find someone willing to bring me a set of blocks down to the city because I think Gary Vaynerchuk needs a set of sectionals blocks. You know, the, the little blocks we play with in stores to configure sectionals and teach people about them. Anyway, so uh, I'm meeting with, with Gary next one of my uh, virtual mentors, sorry, one of my virtual mentors, uh, Sue, who you haven't met yet, was willing to do it. There she is! Hey! Oh no! This is Sue. Hi everyone. A brand new sacker. Have you seen the vlog yet? Yeah, of course. All right, so it's we're live again. I was down for like two weeks because I had some technical difficulties. My life was in shambles. My laptop was still in Vietnam. But Sue You're back up. was Hello. willing to sweep floors. So we were just talking about this this morning. A love sack core value, willing to sweep floors or willing to stand at the clock in Grand Central with a set of very small sectionals. The worst place in New York City. <laughs> just for just for Gary Vaynerchuk. Do you know Gary Vaynerchuk? I don't. You don't know Gary Vaynerchuk? No. I guess I should. I'll Sue. look him up. Sue. I'm meeting with him in the half hour. Well, I'll look him up on my He's way home. He's a digital icon. All right, well, a have digital to know that. icon. Have you have to know. Know. No, we're, we're very proud of. Uh, we're very proud to have her on the team. Our brand new AP of, right. of all things yeah. digital. She's going to turn us into the what? The Casper <laughs> of couches. No, it's going to be better. It's going to than Casper. yeah, Casper. Come on, it's a rolled up piece of foam. Wait, We've got, it's one thing. It's one thing. All 
right. We're excited to have her. Thank and look, you. What, we're four days on the job and she's running errands. We love her and appreciate it. Do anything to make it work. That's why, she, that's why she's a sacker right there. That's right. Yes, so as simple as it sounds, a trite way to describe our overall strategy at Love Sack now with sectionals in the mix is to become the Casper of couches. If you followed what these mattress companies are doing direct to consumer, uh, heavy advertising online with a cost of acquisition that leverages into ROI positive uh, results, uh, that's what we're going to do with sectionals. In other words, have a killer product, the only couch that can ship via FedEx or UPS to your door. Uh, spend a lot of money on advertising to get the word out, which we've never done, and grow the business uh, massively by leveraging that model. So we say the Casper of couches, but the truth is I'm dubious on Casper's future. I just like their business model. And for us, we couple that with our you know, retail stores, which are super profitable, and we'll continue to grow those. And it's going to be lights out to couch land. So Vayner Media's new headquarters is in the famed Hudson Yards. Not quite complete, still under construction, but going to be the hot spot in Manhattan going forward. Uh, this is insane. <laughs> Are you Vayner? Yeah. What do you mean? He is Vayner. <laughs> Like it or not, man. You're back. He's on his 81st episode. 81st episode. episode. Yeah. Yes. What are you going to do about that? Hey. Good. Good to see you. 81? 81, 81 all on the iPhone. Quincy Nunwa. Quincy Nunwa. Quincy Nunwa. Ah. I'm going to do an unboxing video for you. <laughs> so, how? Bingo. When you have the best product, you can do dumb shit like 1%. Right. Do you know just the statement from David Ogilvy of the entire advertising right. world? Wait, we see the 1% from the check. Yeah. That's great. Okay, we have sixty showrooms. Oh, you know, like this is we should we should. It's not that we should go fast. No, but we'll it's just the I've, like we've been flirting. Like we've hooked up. No, a but we've times. we've had to. I know, but we've had to get the infrastructure ready to scale. So, but I. But you know by the way, the that. only reason I sit here is I believe your thesis. I, I genuinely. What it and, is. and where are you on this patent? Your patent you have. You have. Oh, we have patent. four issued patents. Yeah. We issued. We've protected for long. Utility patents. Yeah, we protected them actually for you ten never years. Talk. What, what made you talk just now? I, I never heard that. Okay, okay good. I love it. I'm excited. <laughs> I, just, I, I, I like got weird. I'm like, do you look look up patents now? Or? Yeah, yeah. Four issues. <laughs> to be very frank, what even has us here was our last meeting because it was really meaningful. Sustainable, you know, ethos and basically, you on. This is good. I hey, everyone. Gary, I got Gary filming my vlog. Yeah, this is like That's legit. Funny. How do I? I don't even know how to reverse the. This is an iPhone, Gary. It's an iPhone, Gary. I, I don't see where you're like. I don't know, oh, man. Man. So I told you about the sustainability factor. We want people to own it for life, add to it, never replace their couch, right? Our whole goal is to uh, is to actually get people to buy less furniture because they invest in our. Second in a nutshell. Um, and a well executed business. What? And and I want everybody to know I don't like I giving shit, but it's true. But I made him. <laughs> So Gary V's taking this seriously. Pay attention to what we're up to because it's going to be a busy year for Love Sack. And uh, there will be room for everybody. The big board, baby. We're coming. This guy to our vlog. What's up guys, it's Gary Vee, and you're watching Get Off the Fucking Couch. No fucking part, right? Or that, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, the couch.